Eurovision fans and UMK listeners in Finland. Moikka! Miten menee mitä kuuluu? How are you doing guys? I love already what UMK has got to offer to us until now and now we've got Katia, that's uh, another contestant of UMK 2023 competing to go to Eurovision from Finland. I already see some crazy numbers on YouTube, like hundreds of thousands of views, even though the video has just appeared. I don't know what's going on. Let's figure it out. Let's find out. Are we ready to listen to this? Let's do it. Are we ready? Gary, I've never heard of this uh, name before. Club and at the same time, what is it? Sort of dark wave, synth pop. I would put it somewhere into that category. Finnish language lyrics. Also very unusual if uh, UMK sends something Finnish language to um, Eurovision. Cha 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 on the boxing ring. On the boxing ring, cha-cha-cha. I don't do cha-cha-cha on the boxing ring. I do cha-cha-cha on the dance floor. Um, what? It's like Hattori come alive in Finland again. Pina colada, my ass. Oh my, what? The guys don't know this weird... I don't even know. It's not really that very much a boxing outfit, but although probably that was the intention. Not liking the hairstyle, I'm sorry. I would totally <laughs> let, I don't know, I'm not a fan of fringes like that, I'm sorry. That's so in your face. Oh my god, like my mind is on fire. What's going on? But you know, this kind of freaky what's going on attitude often wins in your vision and often wins in national selection. How would critics, how would the, you know, um, judges of UMK react to that? I already can imagine, you know, people selecting this, pre-selecting this six act, going like, oh, let's listen to this, Karia. By the way, practice and pronunciation, that's how you pronounce it, Karia, because I speak Finnish. Um, <laughs> it's so funny when he says, ta, ta, ta. he says it like, you know, because in Finnish language the stunts are more like a middle sound, like s yeah, and it's very hard for kids to pronounce words like Finnish, English, uh, or too much. They more go like Finnish, English, too much, ta ta ta. You know, it's very funny, very cute though. <laughs> um, this part, the poppy part, I don't like really. And what is it? Where on the, uh, the treadmill or what? <laughs> Where in the gym? Exercising. Ah, to me, when it went more like to pop uh, part, it lost a bit, a lot. I love this in like you know kicking in part, cha 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 cha. But it's too eclectic, you know. I'm. I mean, what an ending as well. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We got a winner. And the winner is, uh, I don't know. It's like the guy wanted to shock and he did it successfully, hands down. Sonically, it's not really a song song to, you know, sing along to, apart from this cha-cha-cha-cha. Um, even the cha-cha-cha, just the exclamations in the middle. Visually, it's fun. It's very entertaining. Uh, it will appeal to male audience at UMK and Eurovision and to you know all over the world because they like this kind of uh, wrestling or uh, boxing uh, kind of uh, themed videos. I don't know where I would place it. I mean, I mean, now I'm like in between Keira, which already stood out for me, and this guy. I think Eurovision style is more Keira, of course, and uh, no business on the dance floor. Like Harry Potter, but this 
is something freaky. Eurovision loves something freaky. Um, if it goes to Eurovision, it will definitely qualify for the final. Like, definitely. Like, take my word for it. Um, but so will Keira. And uh, there are quite a few strong acts this year in Eurovision. There are quite a few strong contestants. You know what? Tell me, do you love the song? Do you think it can win? Does, does it have the potential? Or should some pop song go instead? Like, tell me what you think. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye. Ciao. 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 Ciao.